Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for You too. Tonight we're going to be doing oven roasted potatoes and carrots with a hint of rosemary. So let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need to make this dish. You're going to need, of course, the potatoes. And here I'm using Klondike gourmet potatoes. Now, if you don't know what they look like, this is what they look like. It's just baby potatoes, little bitty round potatoes, okay? You're going to need olive oil, baby carrots, my favorite all-time season in the world, Lipton onion soup mix, rosemary, minced garlic, and salt and pepper to taste. So I'm going to go away, get these potatoes ready, and I'll be right back and show you how to put together this fast, fast roasted potatoes and carrots. Be right back. Okay, now we're back. So let's get started with mixing together the marinade that we're going to need in order to roast off the potatoes and carrots. You're going to need two tablespoons of olive oil. And that really depends on how many carrots you have. I had two bags, so that's two tablespoons, put just a little bit more, of olive oil. Then I'm going to need one tablespoon of minced garlic. You're going to have to salt and pepper to taste, so in this I'm going to put one tablespoon of salt, one half tablespoon of pepper. This is my cut up rosemary. Put that in. I did just dice it up real fine. And my favorite all time season in the world, Lipton onion soup mix. Put that in. Now, I'm going to mix this up well. And this adds a very good taste to your roasted potatoes and carrots. Even if you're just going to roast off the potatoes and not roast off the carrots, it adds very good flavor to it. You're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And I like a soft roast rather than a hard roast. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cover this in my oven for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to take the cover off and cook it the last 15 minutes uncovered. So that's a total of 45 minutes. Now, I've already minced up, well, I've minced up the mixture, but here is my potatoes, and I cut up some, and some I didn't, okay? The very little ones, there was no need to cut it up. There's a lot of nutrients and vitamins in the skin, so you can leave your skin on, or you can take it off, or you can make it decorative by just cutting off the middle peel of the potato, the, the middle part of the potato, and then leaving the rest. Let me try to... Just show you, I got these gloves on, so I might not be able to do it as well. But one of the ways that you can design your potato, okay, see I cut out the middle, and I just left both of the ends, that end, and then that end. The bigger potatoes, I did cut in half, and the ones that was a little bit bigger than that, like this one, okay, I cut them in fours, okay? So now I have all of my potatoes in, and I'm going to go ahead and add my carrots to this as well. Now I'm going to take the mixture that I've mixed up, the marinade, and I'm going to put it all over my potatoes. And now I'm going to mix that in. Now that's putting the oil, the flavors from the garlic, and the flavors from the onion and the rosemary, I'm putting that all over my potatoes until it's fully covered. Okay, now I'm going to take my pan here that I have covered in foil and I'm going to put my potatoes down on this pan.
Okay, don't crowd a lot of potatoes into your pan. Try to just leave it like a layer if you can. Okay. Now, there it is. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to cover this with my second piece of foil. I'm going to put this in my oven, bake it off at 350 degrees for roughly 30 minutes. Then I'm going to take this cover off and I'm going to finish allowing this to roast uncovered. That way I'll have a smooth, soft potato on the inside and on the outside it will be roasted like it should. So I'll bring you back once this bakes off in my oven. Be right back. Okay, now we're back and the potatoes are ready. Ooh. And they look good. Just want to show you what they look like. Okay, and they're very soft. I'll try to see if I can get something to... There. Try to smash it with. I can't find... There. Let's see if I can... There, see? See how I smashed it? There you go. The potatoes are very soft and they are done and that's exactly the way that I wanted my potatoes. So this is all that I have for you today. Chris is making roasted potatoes and carrots. Now I am going to dish this up, but I'm going to dish this up with the next video because this is going with my dinner. Okay. So just wanted to show you how to make that dish and as always, thank you for watching. Chris cook for you too. Bye.